Martine was pushed off the bridge by her friend, tells her she has ruined her life. A teenager who shoved her friend of a 60 feet high bridge, will spend as much time in the jail as her friend spends in the hospital. A sentimental speaking at Taylor Smith's sentencing, Jordan Holgerson described how the 19-year actions olds resulted in six broken ribs and punctured lungs in her former friend. Taylor Smith, 19, who admitted to pushing her friend off a bridge, started her two-day prison sentence today in Vancouver, Washington. Jordan testified in court that her injuries cause her constant pain. Last August, Smith pushed a friend of hers who was then 16 off a 60-foot bridge. Jordan Holgerson, 17, was pushed off the bridge by Taylor at the exact moment that it was caught on camera. In the horrifying video, Holgerson can be seen plummeting to the water while screaming. She also sustained other wounds in addition to numerous broken ribs. After pleading guilty to reckless endangerment, Smith expressed regret for the pain and humiliation that her former friend had gone through. She had hoped to avoid going to jail. Judge Darvin J. Zimmerman disregarded a plea agreement reached with the prosecution, siding instead with the victim's mother, who pleaded with him to imprison the defendant. He decided that Smith should serve 38 days on an unpaid work crew and two days in jail. Reckless endangerment carries a maximum fine of $5,000 and a maximum jail sentence of one year. In court today, an emotional Jordan, now 17, described her fall as the moment that changed my life for the worse. A swimmer raced out to rescue her before she was taken to the nearby Peace Health Southwest Medical Center in Vancouver. Jordan said last year, I kind of got mad because the rest of my summer is gone and I'm probably going to be recovering for the rest of the school year. I'm in a lot of pain. She added, in the mornings it's the worst, like it hurts to breathe. My side hurts. My shoulder hurts. I can't even get up. Jordan told how she blacked out in terror as she fell towards the water. She told a local website. In midair I think I might have blacked out. I was awake and aware when I hit the water. Footage of the moments before the push show Jordan repeatedly saying stop and wait. Taylor can be heard saying, just go you promised you would do it. I'm going to push you. I don't care. I'd jump in there to save you if anything happens. Jordan, I got you. It is then that Smith shoves her pal off the bridge with Jordan seen plummeting towards the water face first. Taylor later told Good Morning America that she never thought her friend would be injured and that she believed everything would be fine. She said, she wanted to jump and she was scared and she asked me to give her a push, I didn't think about the consequences. I've apologized several times, but I haven't been able to see her in person. I went to the hospital. I got asked to leave. I wasn't allowed to see her. I never intended to hurt her, ever. I'm really sorry it turned out that way. I just pray she heals. The pair have not reconciled, with Jordan saying that the apologies don't change the fact that she nearly lost her life. The Sun Online revealed that Taylor was later seen partying with friends as if nothing happened at the Clark County Fair. According to sources, Taylor has left school is unemployed and lives with her grandmother. Daredevils love to hang out on the bridge in Moulton Falls Regional Park, despite a sign forbidding diving and jumping off. The bridge is the same one that Taylor's friend Jordan pushed her off of. Ben Peeler, the fire chief for Clark County, said it was forbidden to jump from the bridge. Last year, Taylor shoved her friend off the 60-foot bridge in Vancouver, Washington. People are not allowed to jump off the bridge, which spans a well-liked swimming area. Jordan suffered serious wounds, including broken ribs and punctured lungs. Taylor Smith claimed she had apologized to her former friend for the shove and would serve two days in jail and 38 days of unpaid labor. Jordan Holgerson's fall resulted in punctured lungs and broken ribs. Smith apologized to Holgerson in court Wednesday and said she has grown as a person and learned to think before she acts. 
I'd like to sincerely apologize to Jordan Holgerson, her family and friends for the pain and humiliation I have caused by my mindless actions that occurred last summer, Smith said tearfully. Although it may have seemed like my intent was to harm and like I may have moved on without putting any punishment on myself, this is false. Jordan has passed through my thoughts repetitively since the incident.